Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how to get three amazing unique weapons in Horizon Zero Dawn. The three weapons I'm talking about are the Lodge Warbow, the Lodge Blast Sling, and the Lodge Rope Caster. But before we speak about the weapons themselves, let's go into how to obtain them. So it's quite straightforward, all we need to do is get Blazing Sun Medals in every single trial on the hunting grounds. As we know, there are five different hunting grounds in the world of Horizon Zero Dawn. I will be showing you in the background of this gameplay where each one is located in case you're having trouble finding one of them. But like I said, there's five different hunting grounds, each one has three different trials, so that makes a total of 15 different trials we need to get the Blazing Sun medals on, which isn't really too difficult. Some of them are a little bit more tricky than others, but if you've already finished the game, this should be quite straightforward. Anyway, what we want to do once we do have Blazing Sun medals in every single trial is come over here to Meridian and take a hike to the Hunter's Lodge. Once we're here, turn to the left and speak to the woman behind the counter. If we have Blazing Suns in all the trials, she should reward us with three different loot boxes, obviously each one containing one of the unique weapons. So let's go ahead and open up all three of those and take a quick look at the weapons. So one of the things we'll notice that all three of them do have three modification slots which is pretty good and they have general overall pretty good stats however the most interesting part about these weapons are not the stats what we want to do is come over here and check out for example the lodge warbow one of the coolest things about this weapon is you'll notice we can get corruption arrows so the simplest way of explaining the use of these corruption arrows is they work as override at a distance if you hit these enemies with these arrows it kind of counts like overriding them I say kind of because they can still attack you if you're the closest thing to its proximity or it's got its eyes set on you or it's just you alone versus that enemy. It will still go straight for you. However, if there's a big group of enemies and you hit one, maybe even two enemies with these corruption arrows, they will start fighting among themselves, which is pretty amazing and pretty overpowered in certain situations throughout the game. So it's definitely an amazing weapon to have. Next up, we have the Lodge Blastling, which has three different types of bombs. The first one are sticky bombs, which you can probably imagine what they do. They stick to things. Second up, we have the Blast Bombs, which pretty much just explode, quite standard. And third, and the most interesting, we have Close Proximity Bombs. These things are pretty awesome. What they do is they kind of act like mines, as the name suggests. You lay a few of these down on the ground. All you need to do is lure the enemy towards you, wait for him to run towards you, or whatever it may be. And as soon as he walks over, that is going to explode and pretty much destroy the enemy. So another pretty awesome type of ammunition. And finally, we have the Lodge Robe Caster, which at first sight, it doesn't have any unique ammunition or anything special like the other ones do. But it is a lot more resistant than the standard Rope Casters on the game. As you can see here, against some of the more powerful enemies with an average Rope Caster, even with four or five ropes attached, it just breaks free in no time. However, with the Lodge Rope Caster, we put four ropes into it and it is down. So this is also a pretty amazing weapon in its own way. But anyway, guys, I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to help out the channel by hitting that like button, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next time.